Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. How's it going, everybody? My name is Leo, and today we are continuing the Wander Song file. When we last left off, um, we were playing as Audrey, as we uh, and she killed the Queen of Winds, and now we are playing as Bran in this hometown where time is passing freely and like looping day to day. So. What we're going to try to do today is we're going to try to finish everything we can and then go see uh, Miriam just in case. So the uh, guy who is up here said to try to see him at a different time. Is this the right time? Can't speak of this now. Talk to me another time. Okay. Let's pass time till morning, and let's see, uh... Oh, I guess there's no, not really a time to pass in this particular, uh, frame. Let's see if there's a nearby bench on- there is a bench on here. Okay, so pass time. Uh, let's do 12 hours. Let's do the morning. Are you talking? Are you able to talk during the day? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that be for now just because I've tried with multiple hours both during the day and night and nothing seems to work. And there's no indication as to what the time would be. So I'm gonna go ahead and really quick because it's still not 5 a.m. yet, or actually now it is. I'm gonna really quick um, pass some time. I wanna do 14 hours. And then let's do another four hours. I want to see what the astronomer is about and then I want and then I'll talk to Miriam. So at midnight they should show up. Oh time isn't passing in here interesting. Now it's 12. Hello. I haven't seen you around town before. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Alara, the astronomer. I've been observing some interesting celestial activity. The stars. One by one, they're going out. Unfortunately, with the factory smog output, I can't see flapping whiz bats in the sky anymore. Hang on, let me move my microphone a little bit to make it more centered. Cool. That's better. Pardon my language. So, I can't continue my research on that phenomenon. Instead, I've taken to watching the town. Plotting. Subterfuge. I can see you don't have much to say, so I'll just keep talking. I figured out how one could shut down the factory. I just need a cohort. I'll do it. I'm impressed. Nobody's taken me up on this yet. We need people on the inside to help us. We'll have to recruit them from the people of this town. Uh, specifically, people who are awake during the day, but unemployed. I need your help to find them, since I live nocturnally. If we gather three such people, we could infiltrate the factory, and use this diner as a nightly meeting spot. Good luck. 
Interesting. Okay. What else do you have to say? The factory must be taken down. For the good of everyone. Just require three more recruits. I may be able to provide some intelligence on who to look for. If you like. Okay, so we'll stop talking to her now. I want to talk to Miriam first because this is getting too... Uh... A point where I think I probably should... Uh... Actually talk to Miriam. <laughs> If I can remember where the exit was. It was up here, I think. Or no, this is the factory. So where were the outskirts? Oh, here they were. Let's talk to Miriam. Well, looky who it is. Do you know how long I've been waiting here? Where were you? Well, I met an astronomer who wants to shut down the factory. Are you kidding me? There's a hero prancing around killing overseers. We don't have time for your shenanigans. Sorry. Well, while you were busy moping around, I actually got a lot done for us. I found the Overseer song. So we can skip right to the Overseer of this place. There's an Overseer here? Uh, yeah. You're standing right at the Nexus point. Oh. And get this, the Overseer song? It's the lullaby your mum used to sing to you. How does she know that? I already know that song. Yeah, total plot twist, I know. So I just have to sing it? That's what I'm saying. Ready when you are. Well, come on. Sing your mom's old lullaby. I'm guessing that the factory smog is going to prevent this from happening. Why is it so, like, out of tune? There's, like, not really a beat. There's... Yeah, that... What is... Yeah, nothing's happening. It, it's It sounded so bad. And I could barely hear him sing. It didn't work. Ugh. Are you kidding me? The nexus point is blocked. Guess I wasn't useful after all. Don't be like this right now. It's probably the disgusting smog in the sky. Which means we have to shut down the factory. So I guess you were on the right track after all. <laughs> Ugh. You know, just once I'd, li I'd like to be ahead of the curve. Sorry, Miriam. Whatever. Just keep doing what you're doing, I guess. I'll wander around as your hope hapless sidekick. <laughs> there has to be some way to stop the factory. Come on, go figure it out. Aw, oh, poor Miriam. <laughs> Actually, now that it's morning, can I get into this observatory? There's a note on the door. Gone to diner. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was I kind of figured. I'm glad I talked to Miriam first then. So during the day but unim Oh, hi. 
So during the day, but unemployed. And the day starts at 6. Are you employed? I guess you would be. What about you? Hey. You seem sad and aimless. Wanna, um, help overthrow the factory? My love... Or... I don't remember what voice I used for him. My love. Unrequited. How can I forget her? I cannot bear to face her. But I have written my feelings in this letter. Please, deliver it to her. She stands in front of the factory every day. From 11.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. I know because I can't take my eyes off her. I don't even know her name. When you hear... When you hear my balalaika... Do you think of me? Will my feelings ever reach you? Will you set my heart free? I don't know if that was in key, but we'll go with it. Oh, girl in front of the factory, from 11.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Why do you make my heart sing so? Oh, okay, now it's repeating. Well, let's go ahead and deliver this letter, I guess. It's shaking like the coffee was. Do, will I drop the letter if I sing? Also, who else is unemployed during the day? Oh, hi. What do you want? Well, I have this letter for a girl standing here at this time. Oh. <laughs> so it's for me. I guess so. What is this? This is... <laughs> Gross! Oh, I've got an answer, all right. Take this back to him. And don't read it. I've never gotten a letter like that before. Bleh! <laughs> Find the guy who wrote me that letter and give him back that. Still holding that thing? Come on. So it was addressed to her? Hi. Well, hi there. You look young and able. Hee <laughs> hee. Want to work a shift in the factory today? No, thanks. Elmer. That is so creepy. I gotta... I can't... I can't be doing that when I gotta deliver letters. I wonder... I'm wondering if... The Bard and Miriam are going to fall in love. I think that would be sweet. Because they kind of like... They're kind of like opposite of each other. Opposites. At the very least, they're... Maybe good friends. But we'll see. I, I don't know what this is going to become. Um, I have a letter for you. From her? Yeah. Mm. This is amazing. What? She's agreed. She's agreed. To meet me. Oh, wait. She also said, don't tell the weird bard. That's definitely me. Alas, already I have broken a promise. 
But what is a love that doesn't know second chances? Um... Every moment without her is pain. I await our meeting with continued sadness. Though slightly less sadness than before she agreed to meet me. That's cool. Also, want to help overthrow the factory, maybe? Yes. We have meetings in the diner every night. I will be there. My love. She is so fierce. Yeah. And grumpy. Hmm. Yep. And easily annoyed. True. <laughs> She's perfect. The factory has infected the very heart of the city. Its darkness is suffocating. I look forward to our nightly diner meeting. My heart cannot bear this wait to see her. Tonight. Oh, I don't have. He doesn't have any more dialogue. Okay, I should probably go. Hi. So we're looking. For, so we're looking for sad, aimless people, huh? I can at least tell you who I spot if you want. Not like I have anything else to do. Oh, she went to my mom's house. There's that whiny dude who always, who's always crying and wandering around. Something about him really rubs me the wrong way. There have to be better options than that, right? Hey, Mom. Do you want to help overthrow the factory? <laughs> that sounds like fun. But your mama is too tired for that kind of action. Those days are behind me, Muffin. You'll have to find some other friends to help you. Good luck. Your friend has been here all day. Not that I mind the company, but I think something has upset her. Did you hurt her feelings, Muffin? Did you break her heart? Oh, why did I raise a child with such good looks? <laughs> Talk to her, Muffin. Brighten her day with your magical smile. That whiny dude reads this. How could anyone deal with someone so whiny, though? I can't imagine what that must be like. Oh, okay. I wonder if, uh... So she thinks I'm weird, huh? Yeah, part of, part of me kind of wants the, uh... Bran and Miriam to fall in love. I think... I don't know if it would be healthy. It, that would have to be determined. But anyway, let's see. Where is the whiny dude? Here you are. Hey, do you want to help me shut down the factory? You mean the factory that ruined this whole town? And took all the jobs? So that I had no choice but to make Happy Kid? Or be alone forever? Yeah, I think that one. Yes, I will help you. We meet at the diner every night. Okay, so I have two more. Pe I have one more person to find. I don't know where I'd find. Maybe Lori? Oh, hi! I'm just sweeping. Doing the old graveyard shift. Looks like something's keeping you up too, eh? Sleeping's quite soothing, don't you know? Takes your mind off things. And every little sweep makes the town a little cleaner. Oh, sorry, am I in your way? I'll just be right along. I think my whiny kid voice got mixed in there. But I don't know... Where is another person wandering aimlessly? You're employed. Oh. Oh. Do you want to overthrow the factory? I thought this question might come someday. Let me say this. The factory may be an evil place, but the Baron is not an evil man. At least, not when I knew him. He was always this... It was always his dream to build this empire. And I cannot stand against the dream of a friend. Ah... 
the air is so brisk and putrid. Do you want to overthrow the factory? What? Do you even know what you're saying? The factory is everything here. Kismet be nothing without it. Be careful where you say stuff like that. Tanya. Well, ain't you just a little sweetheart? Something to drink, hon? Like juice? No. You seen those happy kid dolls from the factory? Hey, almighty, I am sick of those dolls. We gotta ban them bringing them into here. Not that anyone tries to. I think we're all pretty sick of them. But Baron's a scary guy. I mean, no one ain't ever seen him. Maybe he's disfigured, you know? Interesting. Alright, um, I need one more person. I... Guess the dog? Hang on. I... I maybe? That can't be right, but it might be at the same time. Let me see if I can find the dog. Dog. Oh, he walks with Winston. Okay, so... I don't know who else I'd meet. Let me really quick get another hint from Miriam if they have one. If she has one. He help finding people to shut down the factory? Just one more. Hmm. You're on your own with this one. I can't think of anyone. Everyone in this lousy town already has a job. What about you? What? No. Come on, Miriam. What? Why can't you help us? Why me? Because you're the only one left. Yeah. Real flattering. <laughs> Glad to be your last resort. You know, this used to be my adventure. Just me and Grandma Safi. But ever since you showed up, somehow I never get to do anything anymore. Even though I'm the one with the magic powers. How do you think that feels? She probably thinks I'm useless. She trusted me so little, she asked you to help me. And then, you basically proved her right. How do you think that feels? I, well, I think I know how that feels. Like when I found out someone else was the hero, it made me feel so pointless. I don't belong on an adventure. Yeah, except you're obviously useful. You sing us through every problem. You're obviously useful. You can fly and you always know what to do next. Somehow, hearing that from you doesn't make me feel better at all. <laughs> me neither. But that's why we gotta do this. Together. We gotta prove that we aren't useless. We can't do it if we don't try. Okay. Fine. I'll help. This time. I'll see you at the nighttime diner meeting. Aw, oh, he's smiling again. Your mom reminds me of Grandma Safi. It's nice. I kinda miss her. Yeah, yeah, I'm on your team now, or whatever. I'll go to your nightly meetings and stuff. But the point's still to shut down the factory, right? 
I wonder what'll happen to this town. If we actually do it. The factory's the center of everything. Sheesh. My back's all tense. From walking in this stupid cold. Let's get out of here soon. Alright. Oh. I can talk to my mom again. Let me talk to mom really quick. Come home to rest? That's a splendid idea. Oh. I can't stay. You should always make time to relax, Muffin. Your mama misses you already. Actually, I do need to rest. I, I'm gonna skip time. Trying to shut down the factory, Muffin? Oh, what would your father think? It gets very lonely here, you know. I miss the days when we were a family. You should always make time to relax, Muffin. Oh, so I guess I... Home to rest. Okay, yeah, let's do 14 hours. That'll put us at 10 p.m. Mama always knows what her baby needs. Stay warm, sweetie. Okay. Let's make our way to the factory. Or not the factory. Let's make our way to the diner. Because it'll be midnight by the time we get there, probably. Or close enough to it. 11.30. Oh, yep. Everyone's showing up. Kona. Aw. Alright, let's go into... I've devised a name. Oh, wow. He's faded. Because he's in the door. The astronomers. We see above the trappings of this machine city. To a factory-free future. Okay, cool. Now to enter the diner. You're part of that group that meets here every night? Ain't gonna lie. You are a very suspicious bunch. Don't bother me none, though. So this is the secret meeting, huh? How are these bozos gonna shut down the factory? The people of the city must be free of the factory. We, the astronomers, can see the path to that destiny. Hmm. These people are enslaved by machinery. We'll stop the factory and establish a new order. That's, that's a bit more than what I had in mind. People of the city must... Okay. Everyone here seems all depressed or nerdy. <sighs> and now I'm one of them. I've never been part of a club before. I'm trying to play it cool so that nobody hates me. The astronomer seems so smart. I didn't think we could actually shut the factory down, but meeting her made me believe it. I hope Kona is okay outside. And do you still have... Okay, let's talk to Alara. Aha, you've done it. We have a suitable number of recruits for our subterfuge. Yes, soon the factory will fall. And this city shall be free from the shackles of industry. Yeah. <laughs> so, all we need to do now is take up jobs in the factory. We have to destroy it from within. Or at least, disrupt its basic order. If we take up positions on the factory floor, we can work together to do that. I am excited! It will be the dawn of a glorious new day. Comrades, let's join together! And lead the city into the light of a factory-free world! Yeah! <laughs> that may be going a bit far. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. All the pieces are gathered. The plan is ready to go into motion. Tomorrow, enter the factory. I'm beyond eager to resume my research. The star is vanishing. What could it mean? Probably that the world is ending. 
Uh, okay, he's still saying the same thing. Let's go ahead and... Uh, where is the factory? It was probably the other way. I'm probably going the long way around. But I'm going to go to the bench by the factory and I'm going to pass time so that I can, um... Okay, yeah, because I'm assuming the guy is not here right now. Yeah, so let's go ahead and pass time. Let's go with six hours. And the guy should be here now, right? Yep. So creepy. Want to work a shift in the factory today? Okay. Oh, goody. Come right this way. Oh, boy. Good luck in there. We've all got your back. Ever since you showed up, my life's gotten so much better. You give us direction, a sense of purpose. For this, you have my thanks. Yeah, thanks. Now, we descend into the belly of the beast and claim this city back from the clutches of this dark machinery. Yeah, what he said. Somehow, we all got jobs. I thought they'd never want me. You came off really strong when you asked. It was pretty weird. Your pathetic begging was a wonderful cover. I had It had so much passion. They didn't suspect a thing. I thought it was creepy. I was pretty sure that guy wasn't going to let us in. <laughs> Enough sap already. We have a job to do. Or not do. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is the this is the same. Oh, Peter still has for some reason it's huh, interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this factory down. Here we are. Isn't it wonderful? Modern machinery working in perfect harmony. It fills me with such joy. Well, let me show you what your job is. First, take a piece of coal from this pile. Second, throw it into the furnace. And repeat. Can you remember that? Got it. Okay. Make us proud. Okay, so I can't walk past the furnace. What is going on? We're starting a band. We're doing music. I like this. And how is he going to react? Let me pick up my piece of coal. <laughs> if I sing, I drop it, I think. Um, excuse me, but you are completely out of place. 
Get back to your post at once. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm laughing, but this isn't funny at all. You are disrupting the order of our factory. Stop it this instant. <laughs> Listen to me. You are going to get in very big trouble if you don't. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh well. Hang on, am I sp oh, I'm setting everyone off. Like I'm... Hang on. Oh, I messed up. They're all playing instruments. Hey, what is his? I like this. This is cool. Is that everyone? Oh, here it is. So now I think... How are you feeling now, buddy? Can I get up here? Okay, it looks like... Oh. Excuse me! You... Rapscallion. You've caused quite the disruption. Mr. Baron will want a word with you. Now move right along to his office. Oh boy. You are so creepy. Hang on, I wanna, do you have any more dialogue? You are so creepy. No, okay. Let's see about the Baron. Another Elmer? Mr. Baron is just up these stairs. He, <laughs> you must be so excited. We've never seen such a ruckus before. But don't you worry too much. Mr. Baron can Mr. Baron can be very kind. He. <laughs> he. <laughs> I do remember this act is called March of the Happy Factory. Christmas lights? Wonder what this is. Huh. Hi. Is that Santa? It looks like Santa. So ho ho. You're the one who's disrupted my factory. I'm very disappointed in you. When we allow someone to work here, we are making them part of our family. Why would you let this family down? Because we want you to shut it down. Shut down the factory? Yes. 
How could you even suggest that? Ever since I started this business, I've worked tirelessly to bring joy to people. And Happy Kid is my greatest work. It's the best toy. It brings smiles to everyone. Why would you want to take that away from the world? Do you hate joy? If you think Happy Kid brings joy, then you don't know what joy is. Everyone in the city is hurt by the factory. It's big and noisy and smelly. Nobody even likes Happy Kid. It's just a toy. But our lives were ruined making it. It brings no joy at all. Oh. Uh, what is happening? My controller is shaking. It's done. What? I shut down the factory. Just like that? All I wanted was to bring joy to people. I thought Happy Kid was finally the answer. But I can see it is not. Perhaps in my absence, the world changed. Or I did. But whatever the reason, if my factory isn't doing its job anymore, I have to reconsider its purpose. All of you, leave the way you came. I have a lot to think about. Hmm. To think that all these years, the dream I was working towards, it wasn't successful. That's hard. Maybe it's time I took a break. You can go. I have a lot to think about here. I'm angry, but also relieved. Angry to be told my toys didn't create joy, but relieved that though there were those who would tell me. I must deeply rethink what it is I'm doing. Huh, interesting. Okay. Oh, there's no more smog in the sky, yeah. It still kind of smells out here. But hey, you did it. The factory fi the factory's finally shut down. I totally believed in you and stuff. And I totally believed in you, Miriam. Okay. I'll be waiting outside of town. When you're ready to go to see the Overseer, come meet me. Nah. Bye, Kona. And Winston. Kona is the only one who really gets me. She was abandoned by everyone, just like I was. And you're the one who helped us. Thanks. It's closed. Oh, okay. The factory boys are scrambling now that it's shut down. But it's good, you know. We all need a change. Maybe now we can put that energy into making something actually useful. Just an idea. I spent every day wishing it would happen. I never dreamed it actually would. Happy Kid is dead. That's a real happy happy. Oh, is, that, is this the guy who is in the mask? It's like a veil's been lifted. I'm free of that stupid head. I can do anything now. I have no idea what to do, actually. I think it's time for some kind of adventure. Gotta sow some chaos back into my life. Or sow some chaos back into my life. Do the things I always wanted to. I've had I, I, this idea for a book kicking around in my head. Maybe I'll finally start that. 
Okay. Oh, hi. Whoa! I must stay sharp while the factory is closed. I have a feeling new construction is on the way. Johan. If the Baron was strong enough to build such a great factory, then perhaps it's my turn. Ha-ha! I'm fired up. For the record, I don't think the Baron literally built the factory with his bare hands. I speak of his strength in will and business acuity. Strength comes not just from muscles. If the Baron was strong enough to build such a great factory, then perhaps it's my- oh, okay. Alright, I gotta say hi and bye to everybody. Gotta say bye to mom. I hear the factory shut down. Oh, I wonder if your father might finally come home. Does this mean you're leaving again, Muffin? Oh, what an adventure. But your mama misses you. We'll miss you. Never be afraid to come back home, okay? I'm sorry if I was ever a little rude. I just want to see you shine. Yeah, we did it. Aw, now, now he's all smiley. Oh. I can't talk to him? I wonder if I go back today, I'll, I can talk to him. Oh. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to see if I could talk to this person. Katya. Yeah, whoa. So, the factory just, like, stopped. Does that mean I don't have a job now? When I got the news, I secretly took a bunch of Happy Kid dolls home and burned them in a big fire. It felt really good. Maybe I'll finally move out of here like I always wanted. I hear there's a cool place called Delphi across the ocean. Oh, yeah, Delphi's pretty cool. They have a really awesome band. You should definitely check them out. But let me go ahead and pass time to the daytime. Uh, let's go with 12 hours. Do you have dialogue now that you're back up here? Yeah. So, the factory is no more. But my love, she is leaving too. <sighs> Good news never comes without the bad close behind. The time we shared was short. And not particularly loving. <laughs> Perhaps she never really did love me. But I will treasure our time together nonetheless. With the factory gone, the spirit of this town is free once more. New hope can spring. Whoops, I keep hitting the button to dance. Perhaps even for me. The time we shared was short. And not- Yeah, okay. Alright, the last person I need to talk to is the astronomer, so... So the factory's done, huh? For some reason... That gives me a feeling of hope. Everything here has been the same for so long. But maybe things can change after all. I've been at work so long. Maybe today, I'll go home and soak my feet. Back when I first opened the diner, I loved it. I need to have that feel feeling again. Now that the factory is gone, town has changed fast. But it's good. Town of hands of people again. Maybe Baron will give back Papa's Chachki, Chachki store. Happy kid, it's not very popular. Factory business could not survive. We needn't, needn't to make what people want. <laughs> I and family, we make money in factory. We do okay now, but soon we are needing something new. <laughs> All right, uh, but the astronomer, can I see the astronomer in the outskirts and stuff? 
I think that was basically everybody. Kismet outsk outskirts. Uh, hang on, Miriam. There's one more. There's one more person I want to talk to. I've finally been able to observe the sky again, and it's as I feared. The stars are disappearing, but I can't find a reason. Well, the universe is ending. I suppose that is one possible explanation. But I don't like that one. When you say the universe is ending, I mean, what makes you say that? Because it is. I met an angel in my dreams who told me all about it. And I've been visiting the spirit world, meeting magical animal creatures teaching me a song so I can save the world. This is all sounding highly unscientific. You don't believe me about the universe ending? Nah, I believe you. As a scientist, it's my job to question everything. But also, screw that. How does one enter the spirit world? I have to sing a special song in a special place. Hmm. A coded sequence of vibrations. Perhaps linking our dimension to the vibrations of another. Creating a brief bridge between worlds. Hmm. Nope, pretty sure it's just special and magic. Hmm. Even in the eye of science, we see that all things are connected. Particles colliding with particles, effects rippling into infinity. All that we observe follows naturally from all that came before. When you help others and create happiness, that positivity ripples out too, and makes an objectively better world. So keep singing. It's good. Aw. Well, good luck on your spirit journey. I'll keep observing what I can here. Perhaps I'll find something useful to save us. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to Miriam. Oh, uh... I guess you can only see the annual lights at night. So, come back later. Fair enough. Actually, I think I only have to wait one more hour. So maybe if I... Talk to her. Does night start at 7 or 8? Is this good enough? I'm just gonna wait here. I'm tired of the gross pollution smell. The annual lights are the annual lights are kinda pretty. At night. Oh, okay. So I guess it starts at eight? Oh, there it is. That is really pretty. This nexus point is called the annual lights. They're nice, right? Now hurry up and sing so we can meet the Overseer. You want to leave with me? Yes. Um, but aren't you... I mean, aren't you going to miss the sad roof guy who liked you? No. <laughs> it's not even like that. He's just a friend, okay? I can't believe we're talking about this. <laughs> Just sing the song already. This time, I'm going to stand right here next to you. Hitch a ride to the spirit world. What's it usually like in there anyway? The one time I went was after Queen Chaos died. So it was all dark and empty. Usually it's all magical and full of puzzles. Huh. Well, perfect. This time I'll help you out. I can probably blow us through that stuff instantly. Well, okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's coming, okay.
This is very pretty. That was really cool. I only missed one note. <laughs> um, hello, Miriam? She's not here. <laughs> all right and with that i think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode for today really an interesting one we uh i know it probably wasn't all that exciting to see me just go from person to person doing a bunch of talking but we saved the town we shut down the factory we worked together with miriam and like now hopefully miriam will take on a more active role if she like wants to help and we'll let her help. So next time we're gonna venture into the spirit, this spirit world, and we're gonna see what happened to Miriam and see what this overseer is like. I'm looking forward to it and I hope you guys are too. So thank you everybody so much for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna be notified of when I upload the next part of the file to the archives, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell, as well as leave a like or comment if you so desire. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.